Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. So my name is Masayo Halpin. I am the training specialist. Prior to coming to In Our Backyard, I was a um, special agent for the FBI for 20 years, and I now work at um, In Our Backyard, and I also teach at uh, COCC. Um, I teach some criminal classes. So I, am, I run the Teens Against Trafficking program. We, um, we go out to schools and we partner with schools and try to educate our children on the dangers of trafficking, social media. Um, we try to prevent them from being groomed, exploited and trafficked. Um, we've reached about 2,500 students um, in Deschutes County alone, and um, you know, it's just such a hard, ugly subject, but you know, I get a lot of pushback from people and parents. I don't want my child to know this, but, and I understand that because it's a very ugly world, but if they're not educated, that makes them vulnerable. So um, with that said, I would like to bring up Coach Millington, who is a partner with us. We have taught um, at his classes uh, for many years. He is a great partner. Um, he coaches football, which I like. I was trying to get some golf tips from him earlier. But, um, but before you speak, I do want to give you one thing. On behalf of In Our Backyard, thank you for your partnership and continued support and just the desire to help protect your, your kids. Thank you so much. Thank you. So a few years ago, uh, we were at a, you know, health class, it's busy, and uh, Cheryl asked me to speak at something to talk about why I have in my backyard come visit us. And while I was sitting there trying to think of the way home, how can I really sell this? And then I started thinking about how I sell it to everybody and I shared it already at my table tonight. About 10 years ago, Martha Hinman came up to me and said, hey, we got this thing, sent it in an email. And I'm like, dude, we need something else, really? And uh, she sent this in my backyard. And so my first thought was we're doing landscaping and help for some reason. And uh, as I looked into it, it became real that it was trafficking. And I gotta admit, I was a little naive to the whole thing. I realized that uh, my first thought was, this happens in New Orleans, Southern California. If anything, it's on the you know, I-5 to the west of us. Uh, hearing about 97 being a major thoroughway, um, you know, really set into why this is important. And after uh, Nita Biles came and presented, it was a hands down no brainer. This is what I, we need to have you back every trimester. So fast forward 10 years and 10 years of presentations. Uh, we've had some experience in our classroom, in my classroom where students have shared a uh, van following them home from work from Bend to Redmond. Uh, another story of, you know, a dollar bill for distraction in the windshield wiper. And I'm looking at these kids like this is real. This is happening. And so uh, they will come yearly to us this year. They will meet 250 students at Ridgeview, 16 to 17 year olds, and uh, spread awareness. And in my class, it's all about, it's not, don't be afraid of this, don't be scared, but be aware and put yourself in that situation and what can you do to help protect yourself. And so coming up with strategies of parking under the traffic light while they're at work, um, going out with friends and stuff like that is huge. And, I believe it's, it's listened to and it's heard. So um, as I wrap up here, I do thank you all for being here. Um, this is the first time I've come to talk to something like this. So it's much appreciated. And they gave me a meal. We're, we got the auctions. So I apologize, but from when you come speak, I'm probably only gonna have a, hopefully a Dutch Bros for you. So it is what it is. So thank you very much. Appreciate your, your visit every time. And I'm glad to keep coming back. Thank you. Thank you.